before the attack, we all thought our money would be safe at the OCP bank. Yeah, glad we got Murphy on our team. I have pertinent information regarding the case. We'll get to that, Murphy. But right now, it's time for your psych evaluation. Becker will chew my ear off if I don't make sure you take part in it. So go. Dr. Blanche is already waiting in the observation room. Once it's over, join us in the briefing room. idea. Piece of junk taser blew the fuse when I tried to charge it. We are going to build so a I'm ready for you, Robo. Where Detroit now stands. I'm afraid not. All right. Really Let's see what's cooking under the hood. Once I'm done, he's all yours, Doctor. Hey. What's that look supposed to mean? Hello, Murphy. Congratulations. I've seen your accomplishment on TV. I hope that I'll manage to remain professional despite sitting opposite a celebrity. How do you feel about being acclaimed as a hero again? I serve the public trust. I do not do it for fame. No. Your sense of duty is what drives you, that's clear. I'm sure you'd love to share this accomplishment with Anne Lewis. You've seen her at the hospital, haven't you? How is she? She is stable. You cherish that relationship, don't you? She's an important part of your life. Your past life, too. She is. Just like your family. You're very protective of your past. OCP cut me off from my family. And how do you view their decision to separate you from them? My programming does not allow for family life. No. I guess that was never the intention. Nevertheless, you still think about them, don't you? What comes to mind when you try to remember your family? I see. Memories can be painful. Especially when they're connected to the ones you love. They tend to remind us of what we're missing. The thief that broke into my house I mentioned before. He was my brother. He was an addict who'd come over to steal things to sell so he could buy drugs. As you can imagine, my last memory of us together is not a happy one. But despite that, I still wouldn't want to lose it. It serves as a reminder of how I failed him. And I've been trying to rectify it ever since. I do not remember my family. I can only feel them. These feelings, how do they manifest themselves? I cannot explain, but OCP sees them as obstacles that need to be removed. And now you're afraid that they sent me here to convince you they are right? Did they? What you need to understand is that regardless of outside influences, my client's well-being takes highest priority. Especially now that I understand how important these memories are to you, I will fight for you in every way I know how. If you let me. I think this is a good place to end this session. Thank you for your honesty. 
It certainly has been noted. I've got plenty to think about for now. Yeah, just keep following the road. But the road ends here. <laughs> All right. Was that? Uh, the situation at up. the bank was contained <laughs> in a relatively <laughs> smooth fashion. Oh my so what God. did we learn from it? When it's their money on the line, OCP will send RoboCop, the entire SWAT team, and a bunch of Ed 209s that actually work. Anything else? Wendell Antonowski no longer deals with the street vultures. That's right. There's been a rift in their midst, and I want to know why. Spike has proven to be talkative, under suitable conditions. That's why I want you all to head to the city and do some actual police work. We need to find Spike. The attack on OCP Bank was a desperate move. I'm sure there's plenty of theories floating around. So we need to listen to what the streets are saying to find where the vultures are hiding. I know someone versed in street talk. Talk to him. And, oh, I almost forgot. Murphy? Once you're downtown, the old man wants to meet with you. Oh, the old man himself? <laughs> what an honor. Yeah, he's the closest Detroit has to real-life royalty. Maybe for saving him all that money, he'll knight you or something. Enough! Head downtown, ask around, and most importantly, find Spike. Robocop! Over here! You wouldn't want to make the mayor of Detroit wait, would you? Tell him all about how the OCP is hey, fucking shiny. us over. I've got a job well, for you. Wouldn't. You wouldn't say a word if you actually met him. How are you feeling after the incident at the bank? Who gives a shit? I heard that you're heading to the city. Once you're out there, I want you to check one apartment for me. There's suspicion of domestic terrorism and corporate espionage, so expect a warm welcome. Should I assume hostility from the suspect? I assume you'll find sensitive data there. Look for it thoroughly and make sure it comes straight back to my hands. Tenement across the street from the arcade, apartment 12. Now go, I've got to prepare for a meeting. And remember, if you won't take care of it, another cop will have to. Another cop that isn't quite as resistant to deadly surprises as you are.
you. The old man is waiting for you upstairs. This entrance to the building is off limits. You have to use the staircase. Do you think it's gonna hold his weight? Doesn't matter. Just don't jump. The old man's waiting. So, it's true what they say. You do have some kind of defect. Oh! It's good to see you, my boy. Leave us. I want to talk to him in private. You have to excuse me for not getting up. I'm in a rather unfortunate state. You did exceptional work at the bank. I want you to know that I am deeply grateful for your service to OCP and the city of Detroit. See, I grew up in this very apartment, or what's left of it. It used to be a thriving neighborhood, nothing like what you see right now. I always dreamt of turning it into the most prosperous district in the city, a new heart of Detroit. Can you imagine? Or do you think it's just an old fool's pipe dream? I agree with all city improvement plans that have the citizens' well-being in mind. Glad to know you approve. Delta City's construction is about to start. Finally, the old and frail will be replaced with the new and strong. Decay and death are terrible things. You lose everything you worked for your entire life. But I don't have to tell you what that's like. It really makes me wonder, has the time you spent in that armor been a burden to you? The enhancements allow me to excel in fulfilling my duty. Not only your actions, but your words confirm that you're an exemplary police officer. The real reason I've summoned you here is because I'm worried. I'm aware of your instability problems, and it's not a matter that we can overlook. That's why I've requested to have people look after you. Tell me. How are you finding your evaluations with Dr. Blanche? I am happy to comply with any activity that improves effectiveness. You're a good sport. I can imagine it's not a pleasant experience, but I can't express how much I'd like you to keep at it. I'm sure that becoming a liability is the last thing you'd want. Am I right? That is correct. Now we've reached an understanding. Tell me, is there anything I could do to put your mind at ease? My partner has been severely wounded and is being treated at Gibson Memorial Hospital. I'll make sure she gets the best care there is. Thank you. I have to say, you brought a lot of hope into this old man's heart. Now, excuse me. I'm not supposed to exert myself too much. <laughs> Doctor's orders. And you can't argue with them. Take care of yourself. After all, the peace of Detroit depends on your well-being. Remember to get back in touch with your informer. 
See if he has any info that could get us back on the biker's lead. Spike is still out there. OCP wants to raise towers of glass and steel? Eh, go ahead! Just not where we live. but I can't see my FTO anywhere. Could I have his name, please? Over. Sure thing. It's Officer Rat. He should be in one of the dumpsters. That's the only place he belongs, if you catch my drift. Over and out. Right. Greetings. Waiting for the movie screening? Just browsing to find which movie would most enhance my nuke experience. Has working with the police not made you change your ways? I need to keep up appearances. Otherwise, I wouldn't be much use as an informer, now would I? Now, nah, tell me. What's the next job for the police's finest duo? I need information on Spike's whereabouts. That SOB. I'll never forgive him for what he did to Briggs. Luckily, there ain't much left of the street vultures after the bank heist. They're probably laying low. But now you mention it, I heard about a biker who had a crash near the riverbank just behind the mart. So, your best bet is to check out the scene of the accident, or maybe hit up a nearby mechanic to see if they know anything. Any witnesses? Ah, uh, there's this crazy old bum who hangs out around there. He's nosy. Maybe he could help. You really want justice for Briggs? We owe him. But it's more about Daniel and Gale. And I think everyone will sleep better once those butchers are taken care of. Any witnesses? Ah, uh, there's this crazy old bum who hangs out around there. He's nosy. Maybe he could help. Are you positive that he escaped on the damaged motorcycle? <laughs> Not so much on it as with it. From what I gathered, the bike suffered more than just a dent. I'm guessing he must have dragged it to some nearby mechanic to get it back in shape. I think Ben's shop is the closest. You really want justice for Briggs? We owe him. But it's more about Daniel and Gale. And I think everyone will sleep better once those butchers are taken care of. Thank you. You have given me all I need. I, I know you're busy, but there's something that I need your help with. I will not be involved in any illegal activity. <laughs> That's very presumptuous of you. I just need help finding a VHS tape in the rental place across the street. The title slipped my mind and I assume you've got like a database or something in your head that'll make looking for it a breeze. So what do you say? Will you help me look for it? There are crimes happening that need attention. That's not a no. I'll be waiting here if you change your mind. They say we're in a record-breaking recession, but people are throwing away things that still work.
to rush. They're just trying to depopulate our species. He didn't eat my bait. <laughs> you knew it had poison in it. Now I'm sure you're no ordinary rat. Where'd you go, you little... Good day, citizen. A rightful citizen of Earth, to be precise. Aliens are swarming and killing us, and the police are not doing anything about it. We're all doomed! An accident happened here recently. It involved a motorcycle. I saw it with my own eyes. I've recorded the whole thing in my research notes so I wouldn't get mixed up. See, there are so many conspiracies happening in this city. The only trouble is... Those notes are locked inside my residence, and I can't seem to get the door open. Would you mind helping me with it? It's, it's the one right over there. I think if you give them doors enough of a pull, they'll open. Be gentle with it. I put a lot of blood, sweat, and air and tears into that penthouse. That's it. Now let's have a look. Mm, yes, yes. I, I, I remember now. I remember. That biker wasn't even trying to hide his alien heritage. His body had tattoos from a parlor nearby, and one of them looked rather fresh. Now I know where to go next. Thank you for your cooperation. You're going already? I've got more information about alien shenanigans if you care to hear. I have what I need. Stay safe, citizen. You're off to the tattoo shop? But just make sure not to get inked. Those designs are very alluring. When they start talking to you, just cover your ears and start singing. Full metal armor, and you still want piercings. Hey, respect. I am not here for that. A tattoo, then. It'll really bring out that jawline. How about I bring out your jawline? Hey, man, no pressure. I was just trying to be helpful. Anyway, if you're not here for inking, what do you want? A biker called Spike. I heard he was your customer. I don't serve no bikers. Don't know who told you that, but it's a load of bull. Are you denying making tattoos for the street vultures? <laughs> You've got no proof, cop. Now stay off my case. I need to get back to my work. What next? You gonna try to tell me that I'm smuggling nuke in a red inker? Do you? You still here? I don't want my customers to confuse. I found evidence of your connections to the biker gang. Nah, uh, I'm not telling you nothing, cop. Spike and what is left of the street vultures are going down. It is your choice if you want to join them. Ah, oh, fuck. I told him not to come in here when he was so hot. He brought this on himself. Where is he? Uh, he's got a place nearby somewhere, but I don't know where exactly. I am afraid this information is too vague. 
His motorcycle must be parked outside. It's some sort of chopper. I don't know. You can check the plate number on that photo. Wise choice for a scum artist. Ugh. I can't concentrate with all those reflections bouncing off your armor. Hey, Robocop. Mr. Mills would like to have a word. He's waiting in the car. Yes, sir. He can hear you. Hey, Silver Boy. The tracker says you are near the apartment of that domestic terrorist we talked about. Your memory is probably glitchy, so I figured I'd send you a friend. Go back to your room, sweetheart. It's just someone on the staircase. So OCP is ordering you to break into the apartment of a reporter they don't like? Any comment before I write a story on that? I am here to investigate domestic terrorism. OCP sent you to my safe house because they want to know what I have on them after the bank incident. I assume there is more if you cannot store everything here. I found a rental bill for a locker in a storage facility. Make up your mind. First you let me go at the bank, and now, when I'm actually starting to figure out what the OCP scam is all about, you show up and ruin this. Do you want to help OCP avoid liability? Show me your evidence, and I will make the culprits regret their deeds. So far, you're just making my road to the goal harder. It turns out I was right. That thing that OCP plans to do with charging residents of old Detroit with additional costs, it is a loophole. It will lead to the illegal expulsion of thousands of people if you help OCP silence me. Explain. Not so fast. I need to be able to trust you first. At the bank, you've proved that you are more than just a tool programmed to obey OCP, but now the stakes are higher. What is it that you expect? Since you're here, I fully expect someone from OCP to go and check my locker. I need to protect what's inside, but there's a meeting I need to keep an eye on. Too much depends on it. I will not be involved in the smuggling of contraband. There's nothing illegal about my request. I need only one box from there. The one with the inscription, Bakery on the Corner. The rest you can leave to OCP to pick up. 
I need to just spring clean my out-of-date documents anyway. Call me once you secure the box. Man, it's RoboCop. So what? We're just sitting here enjoying the moment. Nothing suspicious. Right, officer? Shouldn't we give the fellas the signal? We should just shut up and smile like the exemplary citizens that we are. Are you lost, officer? I can show you the exit if you want. Trouble with the lock. Uh, seems that I forgot the key, but, uh... You will tell your story at the station. Are you sure you have enough seats in your car to take us all? If you do not come quietly, I will not need any.
Well, well, well. Looks like Mr. Becker was right. You're up to something behind his back. These things are supposed to go to Mr. Becker, I reckon. What will interest Becker is in locker number 17. The contents of this box are none of OCP's concern. I'll have to tell Mr. Becker that you have not given us all the material. I assure you that it will end up worse for you than for me. You're late. Sorry, I had to take a bus. Freaking OCP robots destroyed my car during that bank robbery. So I'm guessing you have my stuff. Did OCP arrive at the party? They tracked my location. Because they trust you so much. Speaking of which, the box. What if I lied about it? Did you ever think of that? There may be a bomb inside or the head of my sworn enemy. Do you want to know what's inside? No. The sound of your voice does not indicate that you are lying. Just don't depend on your lie detector when you talk to politicians. In the box are my personal belongings. Letters, memorabilia, things that actually matter to me. When you become too tough to hit directly, the scum will try to get to you through your loved ones. I understand. So we have even more in common. Once OCP takes care of my old documents, I'll have the space to deal with the Delta City issue and help the people of old Detroit. You've helped them already, though. Thank you. Ronnie's Grocery. Leave the box there. What do you mean, a dollar? It's 23.50! I have Samantha's belongings. Ah, uh, yes, I'm glad you're helping her. Without that girl, OCP would put us all on the street. Still might. They did a number on a lot of families, hers included. Samantha's mother took it worst. But that's not a story for me to tell. Anyway, uh, leave the box in the back, next to the cat food. She's supposed to pick up everything tomorrow. City Hall is the decaying symbol of mismanagement and corruption. Detroit deserves a fresh start. And the only way to achieve that is to take the city private. Delta City for our children.
Is that true? Mary has to close a restaurant? Two words. Delta City. Feel no joy with the broadcast! Fucking OCD is good for nothing, piece of shit. Be quiet, you moron! Yes, they're working in no time, Mr. Wendell. Sir. Yes, you won't screw it up. He's using you, just so like he used us. He hired us, but we failed to deliver. That's why we had to get you over. Ah! Oh. Talk about a sword, loser. You had your chance, and you blew it. Now it's the Torchette's turn. Uh, Deal with it, biker bitch! Oh shit! We've got company! You weren't invited! Let's crush this tin can! Wendell make you do? <clears throat> you saw it yourself. <clears throat> he needed us to extract brains from corpses. <clears throat> Most of my men didn't have the stomach for it. Why brains? <sighs> he would never say. Wendell keeps his cards close to his chest. Where is he? When? Now? <laughs> uh, my bet would be in front of a screen, wherever that fucking signal is supposed to reach. Because he's always watching. Operator, requesting an ambulance. One unconscious fugitive suffering heavy blood loss.
Operator, Wendell's trail leads to the outskirts west of town, continuing pursuit. I hate the day shift. 